Nexus. All right, so welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Evil Infinite. We're in this new spire, and my headset is a little too loud, <laughs> so I'll readjust that. Hopefully, you can hear me. Where okay. now? Down, I guess. You guess. Uh, yeah, this is all new, fresh. The Nexus appears to be below the gravity lift into the spire. We need to find it. Uh, I can't get any it was quaking in there. Oh, is that? A <laughs> Killed a grunt that's been thrown by a brute. Ah. Oh. I didn't know that was an achievement. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, whoa! Sentinel beam. Like the little tower. No. And that was awesome. Yeah. Oh crap! He's still alive. Dang. Okay. Uh, yeah. I don't know what's going on. I've adjusted the headset like three times. And it's still super, super loud. Um, so forgive me. Gotcha, buddy. F for kind of feeling like a little jarred there. Yeah, that was weird. Like, know, I'm still adjusting it, too. Okay. And now it's not loud enough. That's so weird. All right, I apologize. Uh... Yeah, that was cool though. The brute, like the way it threw that grunt, and then my grenade went off right as he was throwing him. Uh, that's cool. I didn't know that was an achievement. Uh, that was just kind of a random, <laughs> fun, coinky dink. And uh, I'm 42 years old, and I promise not to say coinky dink again. Uh, I don't promise, but yeah, more banished. I'll try. How come they're here? To protect the harbinger. Clearly, will it work? What do you think? If I told you what I... Oh, I get it. Sarcasm. You're funny, too. <laughs> yeah, he's funny. It's hilarious. That's what the Master Chief's known for, is comedy. Skirmishers. That's what we got. Only got 13 bullets left in this thing. Ow. My patience is being tested. Your patience is being tested. left. There we go. Alright, now we're reloaded. Oh! Got him. <laughs> I like this gun. Not always, but... But right now. <laughs> right now it's... it's Look 
look at that. A hologram. It looks like the spire above us. Uh, yeah. We're heading in the right direction. The thing about these skirmishers that I like is that they're like, uh, I mean, I like and I don't like, but it separates them from the jackals is how quick they are. Like they, and they'll run right up to you. They, they have no fear. Oh, nice. He's got a mangler. at me. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Timed that pretty well. That was awesome. I, I thought he was going to get me, to be honest. He was coming right at me. They're coming right for us. Never underestimate a grunt. Hey, he's running. Oh, and he's exploded. Wait, what's... what's oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, interrupted you mid-sentence. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sure you're going to threaten me with big words. And, um... And I just, uh, you know... Prematurely shot my... Now at this hour of waking, from when the brows of stone, a new pale day is breaking, and the deep night is gone. I don't know if I like this poem. It's scaring me. Yeah, check that out. Forerunner stuff reminds me of the didact and like the sphere he was in. It could, it could even be that exact reference. Like, my lore is shaky, and my visual memory is garbage, so... Like, I can process the data of it, like, oh, sphere, with writing on it. And I'll like, point that to the didact or something, but that may not be, like, 100% accurate. So if I'm wrong, just let me know. Ah. slow, but I actually like seeing Halo in third person. That's sometimes why I pick the guns up like this, is just so I can get that third person perspective. Don't get me wrong, first person's awesome, and it's, it's definitive Halo, but it's nice seeing things from this perspective sometimes. For me, at least. Oh, great. Oh, I forgot about these guys. Oh, good. There's another one coming back up. Fight these guys with. 
glad I brought that turret in now. One last shot. That's how I got the shield, so. Got him! Dude! That's awesome. <laughs> oh, that is so awesome. I forgot, actually, that, like, uh, well, there was hunters in here. I, what now? This is why. Down. Because I remembered there was a room with hunters in it and a hole in the floor, but I forgot we have to activate something to create the hole in the floor. So <laughs> so I'm glad we took that that big uh, turret in. That's, uh, that helped out big time. <laughs> Thanks. Was it? Again? I mean, yeah, it was. Where now? Should be close now. Let's look around. Okay. Looking around. Go that way. Sweet. Deal. Are we gonna fight any more invisible enemies though? Cause nobody got time for that. Huh. Okay. Twist. Is this where we take the the um, horizontal elevator across? Could be. Um, and horizontal elevator is not like code for anything dirty. So get your minds out of the gutter, you. Whoa. Okay then. Yeah, no, it is. Cause there it is. There's. We're gonna need to find a way over this chasm. Yeah, can we that's use what that this gondola? Thing in front of us. Yes. Yes, we can. Oh, okay. Get You're going to call there. it a gondola. Oh. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, okay. No, that's okay to fall down there. Okay. Yeah, all right. I was like, "Oh, we're dead. We're dead." And the sentinels are here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they load you up with some some weapons here. But, yeah, let's get rid of some of these guys. Before we start going. Wait, where'd the other one go? We shot it, but we didn't kill it. Oh, it's retreated. It's gonna go get friends, probably. But yeah, so they give you weapons and stuff, because we're probably gonna need them. All right, so it's not a horizontal elevator, then. it's a gondola. Whatever. The last one, remember, I was saying it went up, and when we were on it, I was like, oh, this is the thing that we ride sideways, horizontally, later in the game. Well, this is that portion of the game. Oh, I forgot, maybe, that might have been something over there, too. I think if you, yeah, I think if you went straight ahead, like, didn't activate this and went across there. I think that Watch door opens, or you have to you have to do something to, to open it. I think that's the thing. Like if you do something earlier in the level, that door over there will be open, and you can run through it and get something. I think it's that door. It might be a different door, but it's something like that. Yeah, so see, they'll, they'll take a chance and drive right into us when, after you hit them once, they become, like, suicide bombers. Or not. 
Was the last one. We got. And it could have been this door that unlocks if you do the thing earlier on. I don't remember. But like one of these doors, either this one or the one way back at the front. I think. Or, or it's the next gondola we're on. But at some point in this map, I think it's this map. Um, that door will open if you do like something beforehand to activate that door to open it. So I'm sorry I can't be more detailed that my memory is garbage <laughs> for for that, so I apologize. But I'm I'm pretty sure I found a secret in one of those doors. The Nexus is close by. I'm not hundred percent sure, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, never mind. We just picked up some ammo. We'll keep it then. Ooh. Creepy hums. That must mean we're going the right way. Ha <laughs> ha! Sup, jerks? Boss fight? Can't remember. Look at this place. Oh yeah. All Showing us all the spires. Interconnected. But this is the hub Waiting of the spires. Something more. So much potential. It's exquisite. Talk like that. You're it's gonna dangerous. scare the chief. Exactly. Uh, of course. I'm not suggesting we change the plan, but you can see it, right? All I see is a problem. I don't believe that. A part of you must recognize the grandeur of this achievement. You're not a machine. You can't be that closed off. Yeah, like, kind of evil Cortana, or evil, but, you know, that's kind of how she started talking. What will it take She's for like, you to isn't this me? just amazing? I... And he's like, uh, no, because you're using it to, to oppress us and try to kill all of us. Yeah, he can't even answer that question. If you say so. And this is what I thought was going to be the downfall in this game, is I thought you were going to, by not trusting her, she was going to break and turn into, like, you were going to reveal that she, that the original Cortana downloaded a part of herself into her, and that she becomes a threat in this game, along with Atriox. And I was like, that's where I thought they were going with the story originally. But, uh, but they, you know, they didn't. Would it surprise you if I said kind of it wasn't it going to be simple? Safe than that. that. The lift's Which is fine. Simple, like, you know. Presumably to slow us down. But I just thought, I, I thought at this point of the game that's where they were going to head with it. Alright, let's, oh, here we go. So we need some seeds, I think. Yeah, okay. Alright, so each of these rooms back here, I think, house seeds. So we have to go find three of them. And we have to fight our way through enemies to get them. So this will be a good time. Oh, what is up? We okay. I was hoping that that canister I threw would kill one of them, but it killed zero of them. I also didn't want to throw it into myself and hurt myself. Oh, what? There we go. There you guys are. Oh, I did kill one of them. Okay. I should take a sentinel beam, but there's going to be so much ammo for it. But, uh, we'll just 
just do this. Yeah, so that's cool too that they harken back to that because that kind of is like reach more there where she chooses kind of her her protector and saying that that's how she ended up with Chief. Get Cortana off this ship. Keep her safe. If they capture her, they will learn everything. Force deployment. Weapons research. Earth. Good luck. Uh, dialogue from the earlier games. Because, yeah, they didn't want the Covenant to know where Earth was. Who was that? Captain Jacob Keyes. Killer of oh, that was, that was pretty, ship. actually. <laughs> what happened to him? He's gone. Yeah, he's gone. Lost on the first ring we found. Yeah. With the flood. He's a badass, though. Alright. I think he crashed in on me on purpose. So we're gonna take a. Uh... Is there one around? Oh, there it is. Yeah, we might as well take it now, because. We're out of the. We're almost out of the handgun ammo. Gonna say Maybe it's my programming. Where'd the others go? They come. Waiting for me, <laughs> like. throwing that grenade helped or not, but uh, I mean, I think it didn't hurt. But yeah, that guy was coming right for me to explode. Okay. Nope, that's just... Oh, yeah. Let's go, let's go. Ah! <laughs> Where you at? Oh, and really? Blew yourself up? Why? He's like, I'm the last one. There's no way I'm going to win against Master Chief. Dude, can I have more confidence, dude? Okay. There we go. Perfect. Could you sacrifice me to complete your mission? Could you watch me? Be fun, but the mission's the mission, right? Alright, 
last seed. Let's do this. It worked. All right. You did it. Just like you always do. I'm not coming with you this time. Memories from the previous games. We were supposed to take care of each other. And we did. Yeah, you're not hearing his dialogue, but they're in the uh, original in Halo 4. That's from 4, I believe. She saved me. But I couldn't save her. You blame yourself. Yes. Of course. Of course, man. We all do when we lose someone important to us. You sure about this? She'll know I'm here. I'll be vulnerable to her. This could go spectacularly wrong. I'll take care yeah. of you. Okay, then. <laughs> it's okay. False alarm. She's not... And... Why do you fight the inevitable? Order approaches. The Reformation is but a new beginning. <laughs> Your auditorium will spill its secrets. The endless will walk this world. Walk and I will say, even though I'm critical of this game not ending the previous story in a way that I thought would be more satisfactory, I think they're doing that more in the novels, though, with the Cortana stuff. Um, but I still am intrigued about the concept of the endless. It, yeah, you know, it's just it's a vague concept right now in this game, but I'm looking forward to seeing where that goes. And I hope they can go somewhere with it, because I'd hate for another setup to a story that we don't get a full conclusion of, or that we have to read the novels to see more about. And I like this, he's trying to deactivate her like he tried previously. I we were a team. Um, yeah. yeah. So he thought she was being compromised, and he was like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta take her out. Take care of it? Yeah. You said you'd take care of me. You were going to delete me. And you stopped me. You put us all at risk. No, I saved us. No thanks to you. The yeah, Reformation. Yeah, yeah, it's begun. So what? Look what I have. Oh. Infiltration program, remember? You broke protocol. What is wrong so did with you? you? Kinda. <laughs> I was trying to help you. Trying to help us. It was worth the risk. It doesn't matter. There's your grav lift. Let's get this over with. But, like I said, as much as I thought this is where they were going in the story, where they're like, alright, she's going to turn at some point, I think that moment right there convinced me, no, this is a, this is a story about Chief learning to trust again as well and open up again. And um, and so at this moment of the level, I was like, okay, I don't think she's going to turn. At the beginning of the level, first time playing through, I was like, oh, man, that's where they're going to go. But after that scene, I'm like, no, that's the moment they would have done it. Um, and they didn't. So so I was like, okay, she's – now we have to – we're, we're going to spend the rest of the game trying to earn her trust back. And, you know, and she's going to prove herself to us like she has been so far. And we've just been not trustworthy – or not trusting in her.